Welcome back, Firebirds. Here we are for match number two of the night. We've got the Carthage Firebirds going up against the Juniata Eagles. So tonight, you know, uh, Firebirds 1-0 currently. Mm -hmm. uh, seem to have a quick little problem oh. as uh, we lost one of the uh, the Eagles. So we'll see if that gets handled relatively <laughs> it quickly. It's like something swapped over to the other side just for a sec. <laughs> yep, and it seems oh. like the game crashed. So oh, he's, okay. he'll be back in just a second. <laughs> he'll be back in just a second, but until then... Uh, I guess you know what are we looking forward to we're playing on bind mm -hmm. tonight and uh, defenses again so hopefully we got the same strats from last game absolutely uh instead of hoaxed though this time around we do have bunny as well as cryotic in for happy samoid so we'll see uh, a couple substitutes in for the firebirds um coney is still in at slumdank is still in and alioth is still in so I'm excited to see the composition here. We do have them back. We're going into the agent select right now. Uh, for the starting lineup for the Eagles, we have Winnie, Skittles, Proza, Darkwind, Miko, and that, that's it. And I, got, no I, more. Got, I got confused because <laughs> of the, the space being surrounded by Darkwind there. Uh, it's, I'm excited. I hope Skittles picks Killjoy. I have yet to see... He'll do a play. Oh, but Bunny oh. picked it anyway. Oh, let's go. Very nice. Let's go. And so far, it looks like we're going to have a Viper Killjoy. Uh, uh, I've been playing too much League. Can you carry over? I got you. We got Viper, Killjoy, <laughs> Rays, Fade, and Brimstone for the Firebirds. And for the Eagles, we have Rays, Killjoy, Brimstone, Sova, and Sage. So just a little bit of a... A little bit of a switch on the initiator and the uh, the sentinel there because the firebirds are running double controller, whereas the eagles are running double sentinel. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the firebirds are going to be really trying to lock down sights on their own, uh, whereas the eagles are going to be really focused on watching off angles. Uh, yeah. Making sure that there's not a flank happening, slowing down pushes and entrances to sights. So we'll see how that plays out and which team is going to have a better time of it. Firebirds did great on defense in the previous matchup. Went 13-1 to for their victory there, getting 12 of those rounds on defense. Or, I mean, excuse me, 11 of those rounds on defense. Getting the final two on offense there. Firebirds yeah. seem to be doing a 3-2 split on bind here. Very interesting in my opinion because normally the Firebirds are almost... Anytime they're on bind, I think it's a staple for them to usually have chamber. But Tony's yeah. time will not be on chamber, which I think is going to be very interesting to see how it plays out here. Slum Dank instead will be doing the uh, the job of watching B long there instead of having a chamber. A little bit riskier considering you can't just teleport out of there. On yeah, your but does have access to a bunch of smoke, so maybe just getting that area down of controlling a B site and everything that leads up to it with a bunch of smokes. Uh, might be the objective there and looks like sova and rise are going to be pushing hookah right now but the bomb will be over by a side so it looks like they're going to cause a commotion very interesting there we're seeing a nice split push right now by the uh eagles here they are able to get Ooh. one pick though kaylee off and coney will also get another as they play raise can't quite get the pick on Killjoy there, there as Skittles and Winnie will both get picks. Now in a 2v3 scenario in favor of the Eagles. Mm -hmm. Bunny, Bunny pushes on the site here. Bunny and Slumdink are the only ones alive so far. Right, so it's a 2v3 situation. Rise having a little bit of damage done. Oh, Slumdink in a 2 v Last player one. standing. One enemy remains. One left and two Firebirds left alive. Does seem like there will be a swarm grenade in effect. Mm -hmm. There's the first one. Oh! And Skittles will be able to clutch up Ooh. for the Eagles. <laughs> Look at that end screen animation. I, I I do like that. Yes, that goes along with the Radiant Crisis series. It kind of is like a comic book kind of a uh, skin set that makes the finisher just do like a poop. <laughs> How it's much very is fun. that? I kind of like that. I, I can't afford it, but well, of I, course. I just want to see what uh what it is. <laughs> Firebird's now down 0-1 as we head into round number two here. Ah, uh, Cryotic going to set up. Nice little uh, one way there on the uh, entrance to showers. As Firebird's 3-2 split push as usual. This time we will see the same strategy out of the Eagles as they do a two-man push down hookah. One, two, three, kind of defaulting around A. Uh, they leave the bomb there 
just to make sure that uh, anyone can grab it if they need it or want to commit to a site. Yeah. As uh, once again, Luca control is taken by Skittles and Raids. Yeah, just there to make some noise, which is really smart. It's something that I really, really like about this team so far. Like last round, just making a little bit of noise, distracting the Firebirds is a, a wonderful tactic. So the Firebirds now finally throwing down some smokes on a site. Just kind of help out their teammate. Uh, great job, though, I have to say, by the Eagles to default this. Really mm -hmm. kind of get them all on their toes as they are going to be fast rotating to B right now, which is going to leave the Firebirds in a 2v5 scenario on B. They may just have to play for retake. Slumdank, though, waiting in that little area. Winnie able to get mm -hmm. the pick, though. And look at they've taken over B side. And, oh, but the spike is still Two over in Luka. Product not able to get a pick there. Now it's up to Cone. Last player standing. Can't quite oh. get it either. Now we have Kaleoth in a 1v5 scenario. Kaleoth trying to be good for one of oh. those. Can't quite get oh. it though. As Miko Can't will finish it off. Yeah, just great smart plays. It's a. Uh, it's a nice slow push getting that intel like uh, what we were seeing in the last round, but just not executed fully This is executing it right. It's just absolutely amazing Looks like all phantoms for the firebirds and still half by four the eagles That is an interesting play, but I, I understand it due to the fact that they had a flawless victory So they don't want to you know, they just bought all those guns Why not yeah. hold up the econ a little more? You know, you're on a 2-0 high right now it's not the end of the world if we, uh, we don't have it. Yeah, that would be the smartest option, but for the Firebirds, it will have an advantage. So if they can take over this round, it'll propel, uh, propel them forward. Launching smoke. Something putting down some smokes. A util being used. Oh! Pros are able to get Kony as uh, Kony is pushing up a little too far into showers there. Hmm. Looks like they're backing off a little bit. Um, B, I think that's B short. And there we have the Firebirds spread out right now as the oh, Eagles yeah. rotated off of A site and they're doing a full commit of B once again. We'll see if uh, history will repeat itself right here as the Firebirds right. right. head in. Slumdank able to shoot Winnie out of the sky. And then oh. picked off by Nico. Ah. I was surprised Slumdank didn't ult right there. Um, Spike planted. I probably was just waiting for. Uh, for yeah, I, I also believe that Slumdank just didn't have enough info yet on whether or not there were enough yeah. eagles in there for it to be viable. Haley, I'm trying to wallbang there, uh, as the Firebirds have a little bit of time left to win this two v four. Firebird presence is now detected all across the site. Yeah, it's not looking good for round three. Yeah, best advice just back out. You got two phantoms, so not entirely a waste. Good pre-fires there by Kaylee. I was just trying to make sure no one's gonna get off that in time. Uh, and it does oh. seem like, oh, pros are not quite able to get yeah. the teleporter in time. <laughs> we'll die there and have to buy next round. Firebirds in a scenario where they will have to kind of save or half buy, but luckily Kaleoth and Cryotic still have access to the rifles. Uh, and it does appear that Skittles will half buy, but everyone else, aside from Darkwind, will also be full buying for the Eagles. Yeah, very interesting um, that uh, Darkwind and Skittles just are going for the Spectres, so it's going to be a big uh, eco boost for them next round. Absolutely. So, uh, you know, Firebirds down 3-0 right now. What do you think it is they need to accomplish in order to start bringing this back? I think just heavier on the rotates. Like, because uh, we've seen them, like, they'd get one pick, and then they'd finally, uh, the Eagles would commit to them, and then just a little bit slow on the retake. So I, I say that's the best... Oh, because I think just with that one pick, they're going to not commit. Yeah. Spike down now. A. 3v4 scenario. They do take care of the Killjoy turret. One bank now trying to get that Killjoy before anything else. Oh. Now there's a grenade he's got to deal with. Will he be able to escape it? He does. Minimal health remaining. Or I guess 100 Spike health planted. remaining. <laughs> one that would have gone off before uh, 
Then he did. Yeah, I shot some too. Kaleon's able to get a pick there. Fiber's on a 3v3, even fight. We'll start to push. Oh. Slumnet goes down Last just outside of lamps. Standing. That's a great little molly there to lock it down. Yeah, it's not oh. very good. Yeah. The Eagles, as they will go up 4 0 on the Firebirds here. The next thing I'd say for the Firebirds is having some someone flank around. You know, getting back to the. I think their best strats are always when they pinch the enemy team together. I think that's what's gonna. What what's gonna need to happen right now because uh, once they finally commit to a site They leave pretty much uh, the entire attack spawn uh, at, at least for the general hallways relatively open So absolutely just pinching from both angles or from multiple angles itself is gonna be really beneficial to them Yeah, I think one thing Is the firebirds may just want to try some more unorthodox, unorthodox tactics. Here. Yeah, Rush down, just try and get a quick pick and then completely back off. You know, don't force like a full like just push and start attacking, but maybe be a little more aggressive on these first angles, knowing where they like to push. For sure. Yeah, for this one's gonna be a little bit different. Looks like the Eagles are gonna be pushing from both sides onto the hookah. Oh, no, nice. oh, oh, there by Slumdang. That's gonna help. It's taken out by, by his twin brother. Tony takes out a dark win. We do see the Killjoy ultimate that is going to leave oh, a lot of Firebirds out. having to get out of that uh, area. Oh, oh, well, okay, so that's good. Spike, planted. Spike is down now. There. Yeah, both Eagles are extremely low. You see the Firebirds One enemy remaining. from all angles there. Skittles. Grenade. Almost. Takes out Bunny. But there we go. down the final kill there after getting two others. Kaylee off defuses, Firebirds on the board now in game number two. Nice to see, you know, as they at least one run, but is it is it a more attacker sided on this map? I never um that one I I, I honestly I think it changes the different ranks. Yeah. <laughs> I mean for me I don't think there's any benefit for me. I don't for think there's side. a benefit for either side. <laughs> Personally, Firebirds do have alt advantage here as they have access to a brimstone alt that uh, will be very good for space clearing as well as a fade alt. Mm -hmm. uh, and for fragging uh, purposes, we will see the raise alt come into effect at some point. There. Saved with the revive for the eagles as well as brimstone, which will be really good in a post plant scenario. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that they're, uh, they'll shut it down even before uh, post plant because it can be a little bit scary. But it looks like that sage is using her ability got hit a lot by those nades down to like about 10 health. Absolutely. So sticking around to 30 right now. Oh, yeah. We see Penny have to go down. Go. Lance there, unable to get out of there. Bro's able to push up and get cryotic now. Sade will counter. Kaleoth will counter by oh, ulting. There comes the Slum Bank. There's the Slum Bank ult. Honey will get one there. Nice. Slum Bank will get Miko oh. with the ultimate. Firebird's now in a 3v3. Spike we'll planted. see uh, Bunny running to someone. Not quite able to get the kill there. It's a little bit of damage down. It's a 2v, uh, 2v3 right now. Firebirds are playing now against uh, against a post plan. It seems like that Molly might have been dropped just a little bit too early by the Eagles. Having plenty of time oh. for Slum Knight to get in there, but they do still have the Swarm Grenade that's going to buy off even more time. Will there be enough time to defuse? There absolutely should be, as the Firebirds will win round number six clutch. in excellent fashion there by Kaleo. Oh, for sure. I love seeing those clutches. <laughs> I love hearing for the other room. Absolutely. No. I'm not sure if you guys are able to hear it. I know we have a really good mic, <laughs> but you can hear when the t uh, team has a really good clutch because they'll be screaming yeah, just a room away. <laughs> just barely. It's like, oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, they were definitely happy with that. It's going to help them out a lot. And it uh, looks like it'll be some full, some half by. Yeah, Econ's in a weird spot for uh, the Firebirds right now after winning two, but losing four between mm -hmm. them. Uh, so we'll see a bit of a half buy, maybe a little bit more of a rap style of play. Uh, 
We will see a full buy though and a default by the Eagles. The Eagles very good at defaulting uh, and spreading out and then deciding where to push. So we'll see if uh, the Firebirds can finally counter that. That should be a good bit of damage on Sova there. Gets a little bit, little chunk there. Oh, but he healed, healed, healed by Sage. <laughs> As the Firebirds give up Hookah once again. I think one thing the Firebirds may want to focus on is taking a little bit more control of Hookah. You know, that I seems agree. to be a, a, a spot that they really like to push, and the Firebirds are just kind of giving it up. Yeah, it, it'd be good to get as much space as you can because. Oh, there goes the Sage Wall. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! It's oh. a kill with the ult, immediately turns and gets a flick on Sage. Wow. Just amazing. Running and gunning right now, trying to trying to catch up to him. One enemy remains. Oh, will the down A. Be done. Tony looking for just one more there, but the, the sad thing is. They won't find them. So they got him left. on V site. Don't don't do it. Slumdeck now just waiting it out here. Slum sneak around. Not quite able to get the pick though. Is when he had quick <laughs> reaction time there. This could leave a one v one there on. Oh, Tony's running. Oh, Tony run oh. Tony not quite able to finish off the ace. The Firebirds will play for timer here and mm -hmm. win another round. Ten seconds left. Bomber, I thought we were gonna see one, but got taken up by their twin. Oh, either way though, you gotta give mad props to the four piece. Oh there. yeah. Bye, Tony. Great job as the Firebirds take round number seven. You love to see it. Yeah, that's going to be a really big round for the Firebirds as well. And they got some guns still left in their inventory. And Econ looks very, very good. Yeah, absolutely. Firebirds all except for Cryotic should be able to full buy here. As, uh, you know, the, uh, the Eagles are left in a bit of a tougher spot. They can full buy, but it will leave them on very low... Mm -hmm. uh, resources for the following round, so you will see a half buy out of them, it looks like. Uh, or some half buying, some full buying, some full buying, some half buying. Some hybrid. Uh, they go hybrid there. <laughs> they're all uh, three, three sheriffs and two vandals. And so they're going for headshots. They yeah. are going for headshots. <laughs> yeah, but the way it looks at it, they are they are really good at it, so I would not be surprised Absolutely. if they get a few. We are seeing a five man oh. default there. Coney will get the early pick as Sage will then run and grab the spike just to secure that. 15 left in the match. Yeah. Bunny now able to see uh, see one in Hookah. Just like what you said, I, I do agree they should take Hookah. I, I always recommend taking a little bit of a shotgun up in there and just letting them push in because they have not had to, dealt, ha had to deal with the Firebird yet up in there. Absolutely, be... it's quite the rat tactic mm -hmm. indeed to do such a thing. It'd be the last thing they'd be expecting. Ooh. Cryotic find Cryotic someone. Slowing him down once again. Just kind of stalling. We will Sorry, see some nice pick there by Slumdank. Able to take care of Skittles. Five the Firebirds are 5-3. 40 seconds you will left. not kill oh. my allies. 5-4 as Proza comes back. Oh, when he taking out Slumdank. But all the way up on B site. Ooh, and oh. Nico able to get the pick there on Cryotic. 30 seconds left. All of a sudden turning around against the Firebird's favor here as Kaleop now tries to mend the bleeding as it as it happens. Now we've got Kony sneaking up behind. Oh, oh one, one, get two. down A. Now it's planned for time. One Brad. enemy remaining. Oh, just have to make sure there is no plant. And Bunny and Kony should be able to do that very well. Mm -hmm. As the Firebirds will tie this game up four to four. Perfect. Yeah, it looks like the Firebirds have finally found their rhythm. It's a little bit scary, though. It could be anyone's game, because now it looks like it, the uh, Eagles are going to be uh, almost full buying. One thing worth noting, Kony stepping up big oh, in the yeah. past three rounds in terms of frags. Just really coming in clutch for the team, getting a clutch of their own, almost getting an ace. And getting, I think, two picks on that last round as well. And it looks like from the Kadius, Coney's at 11 6, oh, Slumdank 8 and 8, Kalia 6 and 4, Bunny 1 and 6, Cryotic 0 oh, and 7. And on the enemy team, it's it's pretty good too. It's, it's very you. close. And I am I'm really scared right now, to be honest. Yeah, this, this round will be the uh be a deciding factor on who takes the next lead. Firebirds already go down one, and it's a big pick on Coney. Oh. Sova able to teleport away. It seems like they're doing a full rush of B now. Oh, sneaky. Oh. Bunny not able to uh, see Winnie in time inside the smoke. We'll see Slumdeck now. Planted. He's kind of waiting it out. 
Firebirds have the spike. Uh, still left to defuse. Kaleoff waiting for that peek around the corner. Chronotic waiting as well. There is a smoke place, so they will be shooting the blind. That Sage Wall is just nasty. Making only one available place for the attackers to go into unless they break the wall down. Or sorry, the defenders. Bleh. <laughs> Two v four scenario. Now dead. everyone knows that both of them are over there. Oh, Firebirds unable to lock this round down as the uh, Eagles do a great job of pushing B. Again, I think one of the keys really is just going to be uh, getting some hookah control. I, yeah. I, think, I think that's where the Firebirds need to start taking a little bit of space there. Um, and you know, maybe having a chamber would have been a way to take that space mm -hmm. uh, you start to think maybe this composition doesn't work the best for the firebird strategy it doesn't flow too well on this map maybe it'll be different on attack but then again i i, I could be wrong i am uh, i am not the best at this game true we're not master analysis here craddock will be alting uh just to lock down this spot get Good. one pick with the bucky waiting for anyone else to try and push in does not get picked off there. Great use of the natural cover. Hiding yeah. in the corner there, waiting it's for anyone really to want to come in. We'll get shot Ooh. a few times. Location revealed on Tony. Wow. Oh, natural peak there to knock out Darkwing. See what can I do? That, that is. Tony, another spike down pick. A. with the wow. spike in hand now. Kaleoff, I mean, not Kaleoff, uh, Chronotic not quite able to finish it off over there as Proza left there. Oh. Gets a flick on Coney there after getting tagged. Now a 2v2 scenario for the Firebirds. It's all even, just waiting for someone to make the first move. My 30 seconds left. Bunny, only the Sheriff. Oh! oh. 30 seconds left. Not quite able to get the pick there. Slumneck will to rotate hell. around. Oh, and look, there's that. There's that. Uh, the the, 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 sky. the Oh, there it is. They will rotate away. This should leave the Kill fire. It's plenty of time to still be there, though. Oh yeah, they're gonna get that a little bit time before. Ten right. seconds left. Slumneck going in through. Last oh. player standing. Oh, Bunny unable to do anything. Slumneck with the judge. It is going to be a little dodge. Spike planted. <laughs> One enemy remains. So, yes. Yes. Oh, peek at the That comes up big for the Firebirds. Very well played by Slumdank. Using the classic to get that first kill. Ultimately walking away with a phantom. That's a big upside for the Firebirds there as they tie it up again 5-5. Five, five. He's stealing my strat. That, that makes me kind of... I don't know if I should be happy or sad. <laughs> I'll be happy. <laughs> it worked. Roni and Slumdank carrying the Firebirds right now in terms of kills. Prozac doing it for the uh, for the Eagles there as we head into round number 10. It's all even up, so it's going to be very interesting to see when the Firebirds go on attack. How everything's going to change around. I'll find you. You will see that fade orb go around. It does not catch anyone, so the Firebirds are well aware that no one's pushing up A right there because the entirety of the Eagle roster is going up B long, which has also been unprotected. We will see the Molly go down. That will fall oh. down. And Slumneck able to get a Proza kill. Razor Satchel on in. That gets a pick on Bunny. Slumneck will trade that one, though. Satan now on point. There's the Brim Stim. Wow! Oh my Cody there, down, leaving beat. it now in a 3v2 in the favor of the Firebirds. And no one detained from that killjoy. Wow, this uh, there. this is pretty good. <laughs> one minute left. It looks like the Eagles are gonna oh, commit to be. One enemy Gets remaining. It. There we go. Well, three Wait, kills for Slumdang. Down. Going to play off of that. Does not get enough information. So oh, no. pick there. It is a one v one now for Cryotic. Spike planted. We done by Cryotic. And there's that the Firebirds take the first lead of the series. There's that super cool champion skin. That very cool champion skin there. Valiant, Val Valorant, VCT going on in Istanbul right now. Istanbul. Oh. Last round in the half. I could never afford that, man. 
Halloran skins. It's too Very cool. Expensive. It is so cool. I love it. And the same for League too. Is it? I make so much money. Yeah. One, <laughs> one of these days, I I will get it for my birthday present. But I believe. I believe. I don't think today's that day. <laughs> Firebirds now up six to five here. Last round before they switch to offense. I'll be very intrigued to see if they're a more offensive heavy composition this time mm -hmm. around. Yeah, an extra round right now will be very good for the Firebirds, having a little bit more leeway. But other than that, this has been a oh great God. first half. Because the little bot. Oh, Coney gets tagged a little bit there. Firebirds still going five strong right now, waiting to see any more contact. Puka has been taken by uh, Rays over there for the opposing team. Everyone waiting though, they are aware now of someone's presence in Huka. Uh -oh. I think they may just alt Huka to handle that issue. Yeah, we'll only handle Rays. I don't. I think he's waiting for the Rays to drop oh, yeah, down and immediately oh. alt right there. Slumdank Launching unable smoke. to get a pick with that alt there. But killing some time. That's a nightmare. Spike planted. Alioth able to get a few prowlers going based off of that. Oh, oh no. Comes right past the Molly. Unable to get a target in time though. Firebirds down three to two, three to five. I mean, my bad. <laughs> what a player. Oh. oh. What get two is when he's left on one health. Ray's literally. Slumdank though gets a last player stand. Can't quite get the second one. All right, let's see Bunny. Bunny really trying to step up right now There's for the Vibers. Gets one. Has to be good for two more with time on the clock. There are swarm grenades there. You need to get a pick yeah. on that. Seems like Bunny should probably just call it and start. One enemy away. remaining. Unable to oh. get the kill with the turret <laughs> on Winnie. All together, though. That'll just pad the stats as the Firebirds are tied up Switching six sides. to six now. What a great half we've yeah. seen by both sides. Yeah, I mean, it, it, a little bit of trouble from the start, but brought it back in just an amazing fashion. It is, it's been so good so far. So far, uh, ew, so far, so far. <laughs> For the Eagle side, uh, Prosu is going to be at 11 7, Winnie at 11 9, Darkwind 10 and 9, Miko 9 and 9, and Skittles 7 7. And for the Firebird, Slumdank at 15 11. Oh, wow. Kony at 14 and 10, Kalea 6 and 8, Bunny 3 and 9, and Cryotic 3 and 10. But everyone is just playing their roles just amazing. It's just. I think that made problems just the pacing you say that it's the pacing and just using the terrain to yeah. their advantage but on attacks this time yeah, it does. Hopefully good. they can take control of the pace here as the firebirds are gonna do a split push on the B site They have cleared out hookah Oh, and oh luckily able to get away before being seen Firebirds will have to make Winnie teleport away. That's gonna put one completely across the map Firebirds now only have two left on site to deal with yeah, I'd start pushing now and just... Firebirds now have entered sight. You've heard them drop down. We got the teleporter as uh, uh -oh. opposing brimstone starts coming back. Firebirds will get the plant Close down. There we go. Now have to do a great post-plant scenario grenade. here as Bunny will Watch start with the smoke. swarm grenade there. Slum Jack oh. getting the smoke crowd with a couple nice shots there. Now a 3v2 in favor of the Firebirds. Bunny playing for the post-plant should be able to get that swarm grenade down. And we see Slumdank waiting for that lineup right there. Wow. Has it on lock, waiting for that timer to speed up. Will immediately shoot down that Molly from downfield. Like I always say, Molly. he spends too there much time on this, but it's Line always up amazing. Lenny right here. And poof. One poof. enemy remains. Not much Last you can do. Standing. Bunny will finish it anyway as the Firebird oh, go up wow. seven to six. You hear him cheering out there. <laughs> And uh, just a little spray for tactical <laughs> spray. Tactical spray there. Firebirds up by one. They will elect to half buy and do kind of a force now, trying to get that eco going really well uh, as they try to take a two round lead this round. We'll see a split push uh, with four going toward B and Slumdank the captain. Just kind of uh, probably trying to make some noise on A. See if there's any picks. Oh, no, oh never mind. Like we're going to have an A push altogether. <laughs> okay.
slum neck waiting for anyone to go through showers. Ooh. Waiting on Skittles. Ooh. Skittles there with the classic, not gonna peek. Ooh. We'll see, we'll see who wins that one. You gotta look. Oh. Quite able to, as Skittles had great patience there. <laughs> Bunny will trade though. Now the Firebirds oh. up in a 4v3 right now as they will get the spike down. Crowd and really stepping it up as a controller this, yeah. this half. Coney will get a pick. That grenade's gonna one get someone, I know it. Oh, not quite. As Coney will just get Winnie with the guns instead. Now it's just a 1v3 scenario left for the opposing Sage. Cryotic. Waiting and peeking. If they're aware that Sage is up top. Not much that Sage can do. Firebirds played that round extremely well. Yeah, that pace was, that's what we were looking for. It was nice, quick, to the point. Simplistic, but effective. Firebirds, Miko is able to get a pick on Kony before the end of that. Cryotic luckily has the line up there, will get that locked down, and the Firebirds will be up by two now as Kaleos just waiting on Miko. Maybe there's a peek. Oh. Pick there as Kaleos <laughs> will ruin that eco. Get him the Great job by the Firebirds, really setting that eco down. Uh, now the Eagles are going to attempt for a force on the full buy. Very risky as they will be left with not much if they cannot do this successfully. Firebirds are going to half buy. Tired out. Yeah, this um, could be could be good, could be bad. You know, it, it, either way, next round they have a lot of money, so I'd say try and get as many picks as you can this round, um, and hopefully win. But it's gonna be a really tough. Oh my oh, god! Never mind. Really never mind. I'm not gonna say there, anything. My I am not gonna say anything. <laughs> oh my gosh! I'm taking control of Belong with the Prowler. Firebirds rushing down Hookah and Belong immediately. Now we're starting to see the rotation by the Eagles, but will it be quick enough before the Firebirds get on point? It seems like it will be. Yeah. Oh, Firebirds doing a nice job, but just kind of... Just it's kind of no dull here. Down. All right, now is the time to push. Everything's blocked off. Headshot. Oh, headshot by Slumdang. Sees the monkey on the ground, That's doesn't monkey. go for it. Grab the Bucky, trust me. We have the swarm grenade down as uh, lineup Larry and lineup Lucy are gonna go and walk away from this one. Handling uh, all this from down B long there. One enemy remains taken down. This is gonna leave Kildred at the back of sight. Pony not able to handle it. Skittles on barely anything. Uh, oh, oh, notice, notice there by Bunny. And Bunny will finish off the team ace there. Firebirds up nine to six. Very nice, yeah. They... <laughs> yeah, I really shouldn't have said anything about the, you know, they just try and get as many picks as you can because they end up just taking the there round. I Firebirds uh... take the round. Econ in a great spot, <laughs> able to pick up guns off of the other, the opposing bodies. Eagles in a tough spot here. They will have to save this round. Yeah. And that is what they will elect to do. They're going to play some really probably unorthodox tactics we're going to see. We're going to see... Uh, 3-2 split A and B. Firebirds have the full advantage here. They just got to play it a little safer here. That's a, I like that pre-fire out of Kony there because yeah. Nova has beached there every single round so far. Slumdank able to finish off Winnie there. Just a little bit of help. Craddock going for the one-way lineup here. I know it's going to land. Oh. There. there it is. Great little oh, worm. Sneaky. Tony dodging that uh, lightning bolt like a champion there. Seems like the Firebirds might rotate off this. Yeah, I was just thinking this is a good Four time to minutes. rotate. Killjoy's the only one on A. Yeah, I think this is a really oh, smart yeah. play by the Firebirds here. Oh, 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 oh my gosh, the Slumdank gets one, two. Oh, look at Killjoy's rotating over. Perfect time. Oh my gosh. Killjoy's in that way. Craddock just jumping around, doesn't thing. care at all. That's not mind. One oh, enemy there remaining. we go. The trade there. Now Sova's the only one left in a 3v1 scenario. Or the Eagles. Rotating on the defender spawn. But we, you know, we see, uh, we do see, uh, Slumdank in the lineup position already. <laughs> Ready to handle this. Oh, now, might no. alt first. There's the alt for timer. Does alt first. I believe I heard the line. If not, no, I did not. <laughs> On me. Pew, pew, pew. 
Dark World, now, now the location has been revealed thanks to the turret. Plenty of time. Bunny trying to get the pick there, not quite able to. And the Firebirds will take that round as well. And Sova did barely able to get away from that spike there. Firebirds up 10 to 6. Absolutely dominating the attackers have. Yeah, I've, I was worried a lot on the defender side, but it looks like they found their rhythm and they're just cruising right on through. Absolutely, as we head into round number 17 here. This one's going to be another tough one because it looks like both teams will be full buying with mostly Vandals and two Phantoms, one split in with uh, each team. <laughs> I, I got English better, man. It's okay. I'm just focused on how our camera keeps keeps giving us a little uh, inside look at the teleporter at the start of each round. <laughs> it's been very interesting. Prowler's going to clear up that way again. I'm crazy. Oh! And Cryotic him out. puts Raze down as the Firebirds should be able to get control of Hookah. They get control of Long. We're seeing all but... Oh my gosh! And a great little bomb. Uh, great little bomb there. Wow. Able to his pros, will get two picks there. Crowdic yeah, ends that rain though. 3v2. Doesn't quite elect to alt yet. We'll get the uh the plant down. Slum dank. Oh look Wait, behind you. The angle. Oh no. Cryotic. Not quite able to uh find it as they were trying to put down the orb. Last player Slum dank, not quite able to get the pick there. Skittles gets a nice one. Now it's left to Kaylee off. We can't quite get the shot. No. Skittles will get the pick. The Eagles will find themselves adding another number to the board as they will take round number 17. And yeah, the Eagles really needed it right there. It'll set back the Firebirds a little bit and get some more econ for themselves. Looks like they can full buy again with full shields, but I think this is the last round. Yeah, it will be a set. win here or yeah. uh, your econ's not going to be in the best spot in the world. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like a half buy from just just uh, Proza, from on, the, Proza. Uh, on the opposing team. I like them to maybe just going uh, for a classic. Oh, nope. There's the oh. someone bought it. There we go. All right. Round 18 to the Firebirds doing their same entry as always. I think this might be the last time you try it this way because it is starting to uh, get a little predictable, I think. For the Firebirds to keep Launching using this smoke. exact entry style. Yeah, it's starting to wear out just a little bit. In we will see the ultimate there by Bunny. Good placement, should clear everyone just about off the site. Doesn't look like it. Just a bunch of contact there. There's an early rotate there. We'll see if Cody can get a little, uh, whoa. Oh! 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 Can't quite get uh -oh. one though. Oh no, that's no. a tough scenario. Oh, no. Yeah, that's a tough scenario to be in there. Does force the raise all. Firebirds give up another round there as the score is now 10 to 8 in terms of in score up. Yeah, oh, just geez, getting sandwiched in between them. That, uh. I love that strat. <laughs> so I think the Firebirds do have to shake up the strategy a little bit uh, because they are now forcing the early rotate out of the Eagles. So if the Firebirds were able to see that and recognize that, I think now's a great time to default. Yeah, uh, I agree. Spread out. Because yeah, there's only two more rounds and then it's all tied up. Absolutely. So take these next three rounds and just, and just shut them down right here. Here we go, though. We're seeing a half buy by the Firebirds. Okay. They instead elect to do a, a split push of A. See how that works out for them. Because they will get complete control of showers immediately. Slumdank yeah, and Cryotic. Both the controllers have access to their alts right now. Hey, hey. Oh, we'll meet them there. That's, that's yep, Cryotic will world. alt to get to the plant spot. So the Eagles should rush that quick if they don't catch any chance. And Cryotic will be sprayed down. Spike down A. Oh, Proza with a quick flick on the slum deck and Miko getting Coney. Firebirds now in a 2v5 scenario. Bunny will get one. Kaleoth waiting on someone to move. Uh, Skittles will get Kaleoth there. Bunny trying to use the swarm grenade. 
Does not quite get the spread. At one. Spawn grenade. Spawn grenade out. One HP. Oh. Is one out. Oh. And Darkwind will use the classic alt fire to get the pick there. Not a flawless win for the Eagles, but a good one at that. As they come one within one, the Firebirds will elect to take their time out before this game's all tied up. Yeah, that would be a very smart decision for the Firebirds. Right now, just that rhythm just became predictable. You know, uh, th that's the way I see it. The Eagles have found, uh, you know, what they like doing. And it's it's just tough to get that momentum back, especially right now. So what, do you have any strategies that uh, uh, Honestly, should try? I, I think they should try the default. I think they should start trying to bait out as much util as possible mm -hmm. uh, and force a rotation quickly. Or I think they should do a completely 3-2 uh, split push and have the team with three make as much noise as possible while having both controllers going toward another site with the spike. Yeah. I think that would be a great idea to try here just to kind of, you know, the controllers can lock down the site to make sure no one comes in until the Firebirds can rotate again. You know, especially with the use of that teleporter at B. You know, because if the Firebirds use three to push up B long here, then they have a great opportunity of, you know, delaying any rotation so that uh, two others can get onto A site and then they can immediately teleport over and they're in showers. Yeah, exactly. That That's what makes this uh, map so special is with those teleporters. It comes amazing placement. So take advantage of that in just the space, uh, like, we've said before is i think that's the key to victory absolutely so we'll see if the firebirds do that here they do seem to be going for more of just a split push on the b again what do we know in the end that's the dark <laughs> temple analysis uh as i'm sure our coach wes uh the new grad graduate assistant has much better strategy than you and i could ever come up with at least ours is fun ours is fun though <laughs> I'll give us that. Ours is fun. Fire We're always in a slower approach, Ooh. though, it seems. Cryotic will push anyone out of that corner if there, were, if there was anyone there. Just yeah, in the Prowler will be able to get out of there. Slumdank waiting in the entrance to be right now uh, as Cryotic went down. Looking like deja vu like all the other rounds right now. I'm not really seeing a difference right now in the Firebird strategy. Mm -hmm. And pretty much all five Eagles are there. Killjoy going back to A side just in case. 45 seconds left on the clock. Race is rotated. Oh! And now it looks like. Maybe this is what the Firebirds are going for. Just trying to force that rotation. Kaleoth tried to get that all the way around to get a vision of sight, but not quite able to. Slumdank and Ray is just left. kind of in this uh, little standoff here. 30 seconds. I yeah. don't know if the Firebirds will have Make sure you clear your this. corners, Firebirds. Make sure you clear your corners. Slumdank, look to the left, please. Oh, Oof. Somehow Ray's did not get them. Miko will get Slumdank, though. Through the Ten ultimate. Seconds left. Firebirds have to be fast here. Last player standing. Yeah, this does not Spike look down, good so B. far. It looks like it's gonna be all tied up. We're here at 10 10 as the Firebirds not quite able to win that push. Coney will keep the Vandal though. Firebirds gonna have to half buy outside of that. We will see a full buy though by the Eagles as their econ is in a wonderful spot right now. They should be able to full buy even after this round. Yeah, that is not a very good position for the Firebirds right now. Cause it's uh, I, that's pretty much almost like two rounds or uh, two runs worth, I'm, I believe, um, except for Miko and uh, Darkwind. But their teammates can definitely help them out. Absolutely, here as we see the Firebirds now going for another oh just little split push there on uh, on B, going kind of toward Hookah. Now I think because of the recon bolt, I think there will be a rotation kind of going on. So there's. Already a quick rotation by Brimstone, possibly there for the Eagles. Firebirds trying to do what they can to get this, uh, get this game back in their own hands. Playing slower, playing more methodical. Trying to make sure that every util usage is yeah, going to help. Now they're bringing the pace they're back going to up. Use the, uh, they will use the ultimate there as cover to kind of push through and take more space. Firebirds now pushing through showers. Oh, Kaleoth right. will get one there. Oh. That'll start it for the Firebirds. They need four more. They've got the spike down. And down. we've got Slumdank already playing for the lineup. 
Just waiting for that spike to start ticking just a little bit faster. Prozo will get Kaylee off. Prozo will get Cryonic. Ooh, not liking that. But just a little bit more time and slum dink. Oh, there's, the there's, the, there's the molly off. No defuse. There's the swarm grenade. Now the molly will land right after the swarm grenade. Oh. Great job by the Firebirds on that timer, as I don't that think there will be enough time yeah, there. there will not be for enough the time. One enemy Down, remaining. yup, there goes the Firebirds winning on the line up there. They will go up 11 to 10. Every time that happens, I can't believe you. <laughs> he just plays the timer so perfectly. I know, it's to the T. It's it, Absolutely. It's to a point that it... it I remember a time when they when they announced the buff to the molly that it lasts a little bit longer. Right. And Slumdink was so excited. And it's just like ever since then it's been working on lineups like back and forth and it's just like it, he I think he knows every little Oh yeah. One and zero on yeah, this I map. Think, I think for team. sure. <laughs> yeah, especially going twenty-five and eighteen. <laughs> I would believe so. <laughs> Alright. Going Firebirds here, a uh, little recon bot, Ray's bot there, not quite able to see anyone as uh, we'll have Bunny, Cryotic, and Slumdank pushing up through showers. Oh, but it looks like Ray's on the on the eagle side is going to be pushing back, so a little flanking action. It is some flanking action, which is very smart by the eagles considering hey, Slumdank likes to play for them. Uh, there goes the killjoy. Oh, Coney not quite able to get out of the way of Skittles. Thrown there, a uh, little killjoy turret. Kaleoth, gotta look out. Coming up behind you is gonna be a raise in a few minutes. You got zero players detained by that. Firebirds unable to push in, not really capitalize off that killjoy turret. Oh, here comes a rise from showers. No, no, oh, 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 Bunny able to turn and get the pick there. 2v3 scenario. Firebirds got oh, oh, just what a flick by Bunny. Well, we do all tied up. There. 30 seconds left. Oh, Bunny oh, gets three. One more to go. Just the sage left. They will get the plant down. Played beautifully by Bunny so far. There's both super low. Oh, oh, no. down. Now it's a 1v1 scenario. Oh. Oh. Clutch by Kaleo. That's how we do it. Great play there by the Firebirds. Match match huge, point. huge round for Bunny there. Wow. As the Firebirds go up 12 to 10. We're on match point. And both Bunny and Kaylee up being at like less at like than 10 no health. Health. At <laughs> not able to come up big for the Firebirds there. The crosshair wow. placement was just immaculate by them. And the econ <laughs> is just going to be now pretty much even on both sides. So it's uh, this is great to see. Firebirds are going to be at a little bit of an advantage, so let's see if they can take it. Match point. Firebirds working up toward B. They will use the Cryotic Prowlers to uh, clear out Hookah. Uh, not Cryotic, the uh, Fade Prowlers. Cryotic will throw the line up <laughs> to get the one way off the back of sight. Lands perfectly, as usual. They got it down pat. Slumdank watching for anyone trying to peek there. My little bunny voice. ready for the trade. Oh. Darkwind will get Slumdank there. My little voice right now is telling me to rotate over. Hopefully they do so. My little voice is telling me it too, and it seems like that is there the, uh, we go. the option they're going to take. Kaylee, I'm trying to just buy some, uh, buy some more time for the Firebirds. Doing a great job of it, keeping three on there. And it looks like the Eagles are starting to pick up as Brimstone has made it up to heaven. Firebirds now in a 4v5 scenario. Not impossible by any left. means. Oh, and now here comes the rest of them. Rosa stepping up big again for the Eagles. We're going to pick there. Kyotic will go down now, too. Spike down Rotate eight. again. It's oh, one pick, can't quite get two. Fade in the 1v4 scenario is able to rotate. Oh, 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 oh. can't quite get it. As Miko will bring the Eagles within one. The Eagles having to force overtime in order to win this game. Mm -hmm. Firebirds have one last chance to end it before OT. Yeah, it's and coming down to the wire. Nasty. Yeah, right now it looks like three stingers, one vandal, 
one sheriff against two phantoms and two vandals. Three uh, vandals there. It's going to oh. be tough for the Firebirds here. Dude, even with my glasses, I can't even see. <laughs> yeah, but this, uh, this is scary. Yeah, we'll see what the Firebirds can pull off here. And if not, we are heading to overtime. It seems like they're going for more of a default push mm -hmm. or they're going through a main. But those stingers are going to be the most underrated weapon, I believe, in this game. That's just my saying. I don't know if it's true or not. All right, there goes the smokes. See. Waiting on Slumdank smokes next. Just chilling out. Doing a little bit of the crab walk. Now I hear, uh, hear the Halo tryouts going I, a little crazy. Oh, it's a bad one. Halo <laughs> is trying out currently as we're waiting for the Firebirds to finish this uh, this game up here. I thought that was balancing. I'm just like, what? Nothing's happened yet. Slumdank flips on the turret there. Oh! Spike down. Crows are able to take out Slumdank. Oh. Down goes Cryotic. Firebird's in a 3v5. I got the spike. Bunny gets the spike. Oh, yeah, he'll get a pin. 3v4. Spike down. 1v4. Spike down A. Kaleoth got a lot of work to do if they're going to hope to close this out before overtime. Yeah, especially with 30 seconds left. All right. 30, 30 here comes Deathmatch. Where are you? It's a great little orb there. Oh. Not quite able to pull it off though. We got a little bit of drama in match number two of the night All as right. the Firebirds are heading, heading into sides. overtime here. Overtime. They will start on defense. We'll see if they can pull it off here. I have hope. I do too. I have a lot of hope in my heart. Well, fingers are crossed so tightly here. <laughs> all right, all vandals except, uh... So we got one Pro phantom Pro by Proza. Proza. <laughs> Proza and Miko proving to be a dangerous duo there for the Eagles. Mm-hmm. Firebird's going to do what they can to hold off the defense and then lock it down on offense next round. Be very scary. It looks like they're doing the same tactic they have been doing. Yeah, and Firebirds once again electing to not take control of Puka at all. Mm -hmm. Well, that's a nice little orb though that'll give some information. Seems like it is going to cause the fast rotate. Mm -hmm. uh, instead, they will default, just going in one person at a time, trying to get as much info as possible. They'll leave the spike in the middle of the map. Very smart play on attack here by the Eagles. Looks like Ray's and Killjoy are both taking Hookah and B Long. Watching my bot. So, oh, oh, Bunny, Bunny destroyed. finally spots two. There goes the smoke. Smokes. So looks like a little bit of protection. I think they're gonna do Firebird. They seem like they're gonna start to rotate. I mean, not Firebirds. Uh, the Eagles will start to rotate to A. We'll hope the Firebirds are ready for it here. Could be tough. Raised in a very sneaky spot. This is very Spike well played planted. so far. Firebirds will push through lamps. Take care of the turret. They now have access there. But now we've got Rays pushing up Ooh. through showers there. Slumdank gets a pick up one. Gets a pick up oh. two. Winnie gets cryotic though. 2v3 scenario against the Firebirds. They don't have a lot of time. They gotta last do something. Bunny, last player standing there. We do see the double swarm grenade and possibly a lineup there. Bye. Yeah. Not much Bunny can do there. Good attempt there. Firebirds now on their last life. They will now be attacking. Sides. Match, Match point. point. Oh, the stress of overtime. I don't like it. <laughs> And looks like now, uh, pretty much same thing. Just trading out a few vandals for some phantoms. Absolutely here is the Firebirds. Just trying to make sure that they land their shots. They will go for a default push, it looks like. Spreading out. The first one we've seen all game long. See if it's enough to throw off the defenders. Firebirds clear out hookah. 
trying to make noise there on uh on B site. And just some missing distractions. And it's gonna make the brimstone rotate, but then we're rotating back to A. So it looks like they're not buying it. Minute left on the clock. It's all just a bunch of mind games. What really is here is the Firebirds trying to just stay alive. Clock ticks seconds. down here. Smoke's about to go. Firebirds now initiating their attack on A. They've got they've got to execute quickly because yeah. those two on B will rotate almost immediately, I'm sure. Run it and gun it. There we go as the Firebirds begin the push. They get Spike down. 30 seconds left. Now Slumber right. probably going to play for that lineup. Firebirds doing a great job right now. Miko will get Ooh. Coney. Firebirds oh. trying to buy time. Last player Down stand. goes Slumdang. Yeah, I Firebirds don't think will. I believe. Oh! Rosa's got to wait for it, but I think that that should be yeah. it. Rosa should be able to get the unfortunately, and the Firebirds will after overtime go down to the eagles wonderful game all around ups and downs galore I, listen i know mika's miko's the top of the leaderboard but I, I think the most clutch plays i gotta give the mvp of my game to proza i'd say so if you had that just what a game in general oh I gotta put my glasses back on. I gotta, gotta freak this. <laughs> oh, I think is going to be my all MVP right. for the game. Very well played. GG's to the Eagles as the Firebirds now go two and two on the season after activation. We should start up with the regular season next week. Uh, and that should get us placed in a division there. So we'll see what, yeah, we'll see what it is. Yeah, but uh, so far we've seen some great plays from the Firebirds. They learned some new things, and there's some there's some things just to it just to also learn uh, in the end too uh but i i saw a lot of improvement just from last week in general that what, what, what we've seen uh but just just some sticky situations i don't think some of that comp really worked out the way that they intended it to but yeah it, it was even nice still it was a great it was a great fight put up they, mm -hmm. they really did well on attack i think there just need to be a few defensive adjustments made but uh great job by the firebirds oh uh, for sure we're off tomorrow night Wednesday night, we'll be back with League of Legends. Thursday night, we've got Overwatch. And Friday night, we've got Rocket League. Thank you all so much for watching, uh, and we will see you then.